Greetings everyone, Horizons here, welcome back to the YouTube video. It is currently the 7th of November, 2024. Um, a few updates I want to point out. I know a lot of people are wondering what happened to that Halloween Spooktacular videos that you used to do. Didn't get around to them this year, unfortunately, so for those that are interested in those Halloween decorations, sadly I didn't get around to them this year. It just, um, I had some time constraints um, that I'm not going to get into, uh, personal reasons and whatnot. But today is this very special milestone. About two years ago, I did the very last retrospective on this channel, which was, um, ironically enough, the Malice at the Palace. Which actually go forward 10 years. Because 10 years ago, to this day, a certain movie came out that eventually would change my career for life. And that's what we're going to talk about today on this very special edition of Retrospective, coming up after this bumper. Alright, let the bumper play out for a few seconds. Um... Trying to start a few things around here. Um, hopefully everyone is um, not too distracted by that. Um, it's a new thing I'm testing out for this video and probably for the next couple of videos to see um, how people um, react to it. Um, so anyways, yes, it is 10 years ago to this very day a particular movie would eventually get released. And if you already know what it is by the title down in the description, I figured I'd just give you a rundown of how I got into this movie and how it changed my life. Not spiritually, of course, but um, but in a way that it influenced my career options going forward. So around in March of 2014, I was not as big as a major tech nerd as I am. Um, back then, I was more of a meteorology nerd back at the time. Um, back then, I was um, not studying meteorology, of course, but I was fascinated by weather topics. I was fascinated by severe thunderstorms, blizzards, EASs, and whatnot. Until a particular trailer dropped in my trailer feeds. Now, I would love to show you the trailer to this movie, but I know if I even showed a bit of it, I may get a copyright claim. And I do not want to give um, any copyright issues as of right now, so let's not do that. But, this Big Hill 6 eventually um, did have a teaser trailer drop, and I did not know that at the time, I thought it was an original movie, but I, didn't, I wouldn't know until later it was based on a comic made in the late 90s. Not a hugely popular one, only did a few issues and whatnot, but here we go, this is what um, the teaser poster was, here's a few art stills, the courtesy of Blu-ray.com, thank you very much, and um, this is what the US theatrical poster looked like, and this is what the international poster looked like, again, here's the US theatrical poster art, and here is the um, the international poster art, as I called it, because it has a different date on it. So, what got me into the movie? Well, it was the visuals that got me into the movie, but eventually, um, I was starting to get hyped about this movie. Now, at the time, I had not gotten in a hype surrounding a movie that hadn't come out yet. I was, like, excessively talking about it, um, with a few buddies of mine back in the day, and... I told him, oh my god, this movie's gonna be great, this movie's gonna be great. And I know why people are gonna ask, seriously, this movie changed your IT, switched your career from meology to IT? Well, I know this movie could have, or this movie could have, or even this movie could have. I mean, I know I'm joking about those, but seriously, in all seriousness, this movie wanted me to focus on. Future, not robotics per se, but more like computerization and informational technology. This movie is more about robotics, but a future technology as a whole. So I eventually went to go see it opening weekend, 2014. Um, 
from the moment the movie starts, I'm blown away by the visuals and blown away just by how good the animation is of this movie. It is by far probably one of the still holds up to this very day in terms of animation. I mean, the rendering of this movie they did was pretty phenomenal. Um, great visual effects, even though it's animation, great storytelling, and probably by far better than Frozen. Remember, Frozen came out a year before this, in 2013. This came out a year after. Still better than Frozen. I know a lot of people are going to go like, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, don't worry about it. So, after the movie was over, my uh, my feeder was sort of half full. It was like half, half. People stand up and cheered for virtually non-stop for about a minute. People really liked the movie. Um, um... Followed by doing a models for the um, soundtrack was pretty good. Now, there's two versions of that. In, on the regular CD of um, American Beauty, American Psycho, which I actually have, the song um, eliminates the loop at the beginning of the song and goes immediately into the song. While the OST version of it on the soundtrack, on Big Hill 6, the soundtrack, has that extra loop. And the one they did for Jimmy Kimmel Live should ever be banished to the Shadow Realm because they changed the, um, the lyrics completely different and it's not even a, the same song. On So, eventually, it did get um, a physical media release. And back then, I was not collecting Blu-rays. You would think by 2015, I would be co uh, my family would be collecting Blu-rays, but no, I was still collecting standard old DVD. Luckily, I had a widescreen monitor, so I wasn't going to be um, really panicky about the black bars and letterboxing because um, letterboxing by then had finally was still uh, a big problem for those that still had yet to upgrade. This was right around the time that I had actually, uh, my parents actually got the first HDTV. So, this was it. This was the official Legion 1 NTSC Luis. Um, again, it is a fold down of probably the True HD mix. I am not sure about that, but it is a fold down of some mix because it is only AC um, only AC free, or as I call it, just for I.1. This was still at the time they hadn't switched the name to Dolby Audio yet. And if you're, of course, curious, that is the disc right there. It is in good condition, somewhat good condition for it because this is 10 years old. I had people ball this a few times, so it has some water damage. Um, some of the casing is damaged. I've actually have actually had swapped the case in this. This originally came in an Eagle Box, um, but I swapped the case on it because Eagle Boxes suck. So, um, we're going back to the movie ten years later. The movie still holds up pretty well in terms of the storytelling. The animation's great, the storytelling's great, and eventually, um, a few, um, the directors of the movie went on to go do other projects. Now, this eventually did get a spin-off series, um, the, just simply called Big Hero 6 the series, that lasted a couple seasons, and it did eventually get a spin-off on Disney+, Plus. but I'm not gonna go into those because I have not seen them, although I did see bits and pieces of the series when it did air on Disney XD here in the States. Um, now, is it still by far the best anime film of the 2010s? Definitely. It definitely takes the cake of the 2010s. In my opinion, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, there's a few um, movies like Incredibles 2 and Inside Out that are like up there. They're up there, but not exactly. Now, as by far the best of all time, not really. I don't think it is. Um, it's still in the top five. I mean, my top three as of right now are the Mitchells vs. Machines, the bad guys, and Juan's Gone Juan here. So, even though it's still um, 
it's still 10 years old, it still holds up really well. It gets frequent um, broadcast airings on um, Freeform, which used to be ABC Family, and I think it did eventually air on uh, the local ABC affiliate here um, where I'm at um, a couple years ago. And I did um, see it about a year ago, um, right before I went to, off to go study IT of all things. So, yes, I do think the movie, by and large, still holds up. And I do think it's by far a good anime movie. So, um, that's pretty much what I have to say about this. I mean, I could go on and on about this, but I don't have a script to go off. I'm just going off whatever comes out from my head. So there's not much to say about this, but um, just a five-word summary about this movie. Great movie, um, great visualization, just perfect. Um, make that a six-word summary. Anyways, that is it from this video. Um, probably going to be the last video I do until December because um, I got some stuff coming up and I just want to get that done and over with. So that does it for me. Hope everyone is having a wonderful time. Take a good care, everybody. Have a great day.